Hey people, it's Doreen Houston and once more welcome to Doreen Houston channel where you get to learn more about life skills, motivation and relationships. If this is the first time you're tuning to my channel, please consider subscribing because this is the place to be. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the love and support you've shown me so far. It's you people that give me the energy to keep doing this. In today's video, I'm privileged to have my beautiful sister. It's a different um, show from the issue one that I normally do. Um, her being my younger sister, I felt uh, I needed to bring her on the set so that uh, we can have a chat on her career journey. She is in the corporate um, uh, world and I felt like uh, you know I have seen her grow, I have seen her develop and uh, I have been able to witness uh, low moments and uh, high moments and I have felt like a journey actually can be inspiring to so many people out there because uh, I feel that uh, some people do struggle with the careers but um, for her, uh, so far she has been able uh, to make it so far. So I want her to share with us Anjani. So allow me to introduce my beautiful sister to you. Welcome and say hi to the people. Thank you so much for having me the second time. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, my name is Frida Kainu. Uh, yeah, a career woman mm -hmm. in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to share a few of insights, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what I've gone through and what I've seen happen through my journey. Mm -hmm. And I hope it will be of a help to your audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for hungering to be on the show. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, your story will actually encourage someone out there because you never know who needs it. Mm -hmm. So right uh, into the questions that I have for you. How would you define a career? Well. Uh, would define career as an occupation mm -hmm. that one has for a quite a long period of time, mm -hmm. or a substantial period of time, mm -hmm. and one mm -hmm. that um, makes you grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so for example, mm -hmm. through this period, that's what we refer to as. For example, you are a teacher, mm -hmm. and you we expect you to be in this uh, field for some time, mm -hmm. then. It becomes a career, mm -hmm. but what, one part that people miss out on mm -hmm. is what qualifies it to be a career is when you benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, which one is uh, your career, or which career are you in? Okay. Um, maybe I'll just give a background uh, information of myself, mm -hmm. um, so that maybe people can get a feeling of who I am. Mm -hmm. um, starting from what I've done in school. Maybe that would be a good place to start at. Okay. I um, have done education mm -hmm. from the University of Nairobi, uh, English literature to be specific, mm -hmm. and I taught for some time. Mm -hmm. I taught in a few schools, mm -hmm. and um, then after graduation, mm -hmm. I, I didn't go back to school. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I knew what I wanted to do. I just knew mm -hmm. I would, I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. And I knew eventually I would teach. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know mm -hmm. that my things, the stuff will change. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. when I was teaching, I could feel mm -hmm. that I am not meant to for that. Mm -hmm. I would feel like the class is really limiting. I'm someone who's very energetic and bubbly, and I felt that I have so much to offer mm -hmm. than just being in class. Mm -hmm. As much as I was not enjoying that, I didn't know that it, I would be pushed to change, mm -hmm. but I would say it was, for me, changing now was circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I graduated in 2010, mm -hmm. and um, my first job was in 2013. Mm -hmm. But in there I went to for some training, mm -hmm. which I, um, I did um, a diploma mm -hmm. in um, marketing, mm -hmm. okay? So, but again, even when I was when I was doing that diploma, mm -hmm. it's because I just I wanted to be busy because I didn't have a job, mm -hmm. and I just wanted something that will take a very short time. And uh, that I did in 2011. Mm -hmm. And now 2013, mm 
And you know, um, TSC doesn't hire immediately you graduate. Yeah, yeah. So even I think that made me think, mm-hmm. what else I can do? Because you can't just stay for the three years. Yeah, even at I, the moment, they don't. They don't do that, mm-hmm. yeah. So I think our time, it was a period of like three years mm-hmm. after you graduate, then you, you, you can, you know, qualify. Mm-hmm. And I, these three years, mm-hmm. it, and I think that is where even the Kenyan system loses a lot of teachers. Mm-hmm. Because how can you stay at home for three years? Mm-hmm. And then also, you're supposed to do private schools and they don't pay well. Mm-hmm. So it's quite uh, something that I'm hoping mm-hmm. can change in the future because mm-hmm. it's really frustrating that period. Mm-hmm. So let me cut you. Mm. So let's say, for example, you you got in a job immediately mm-hmm. maybe after you graduated. Mm-hmm. Would you still be a teacher? I just feel like the person you are would eventually show. The person you are will eventually come out. Because I remember I told you when I was, when I was teaching, mm-hmm. I would feel like there's less of me I'm keeping. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like then I'm not fully utilized. Okay. Yeah. Because remember, mm-hmm. it, it, for example, if I'm teaching from twos, mm-hmm. it's just basic things, the verbs, the whatever, the things that you do in class. But then I have so much in me, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's, it's heavy on them. Mm-hmm. So I just felt, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like eventually you'll find yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so... In 2013, mm-hmm. I I was just waiting for when this opening will come. Mm-hmm. But one thing with me, mm-hmm. and now this is the first point for your viewers, is when you are trying to figure out what to do, don't stay at home, mm-hmm. because you position wherever you go. When you go out there, it, there's a chance of you getting something or meeting someone mm-hmm. than when you stay in the house, because the people who don't have a job, but then they just stay home and sleep. Just wake up and dress nicely and just walk out. So on this day, I was just doing my rounds. I remember I'd gone to Westlands to pay for DSTV. And I was just coming home. And I would dress very nicely. I didn't want people to know I don't have a job. So you'd never see me in town with jeans and stuff. Mm-hmm. When it's, an, it's a weekday and people are coming from office. I just felt the need to... Well, times have changed now. Mm-hmm. But I just felt the need to fit in as a working person. Because remember the people you cleared with in campus are already employed and everything. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to meet your peers. And they'll ask, hey, it's on Monday, where are you in jeans? Mm-hmm. So me, I'll just dress nicely and go. Mm-hmm. And then is this day I was just in... Um, I, used to, I, I used to like um, admiring um, furniture. Mm-hmm in high-end stuff, because I used to tell myself one day, I love all these things. So I used to go to Furniture Palace a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, this day I went, and Kumbi, it's something I'd been doing, and someone was seeing me every time I'd go check the tables and t- check the chairs. And so this, this one, Muhindi, who used to see me, and maybe they thought there's some things that I usually look for that I've never found, maybe an item. So they just came to ask. I remember I'm very nicely dressed, so I don't look broke. <laughs> yeah, so... So he just came to find out what is this thing I usually come to check, mm-hmm. which I've never found. Yeah, so maybe they can. They can maybe, yeah, mm-hmm. I would advise, you know. And I said, I am looking for a job. Mm-hmm. And he just looked me twice and he's like, what do you mean? You don't have a job? Mm-hmm. I said, no, I could not believe it. Mm-hmm. And remember at this point, at this point, mm-hmm. um, I'm looking for anything. Mm-hmm. Actually, even if it was, I was not to be paid, I would work because I just wanted to leave the house. Okay, so I, when I told him I was looking for a job, for him was so shocked, and he said, "Would Would you want to work here?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "Yes, I would want to work here." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Oh well, I'm not the boss here, but maybe next time my boss has come, mm-hmm. just be around. You can give me your CV, and I used to have my CV on soft copy. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can pick the points." Eh? Um, so I sent him my soft copy CV. And then he said, maybe when they are around, mm-hmm. I can call you and make sure you, 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 you I'll make sure you come. Mm-hmm. And then not long, like a week later, mm-hmm. he called me mm-hmm. and he said, mm-hmm. um, Frida. And mm-hmm. actually at this point, I would just want to talk about destiny connectors. Mm-hmm. Remember when you're in the house, you mm-hmm. not meet those people yeah. who are supposed because even God aligns people yeah. in interesting ways. Actually, he uses people, he uses people yeah. to get to you. So mm-hmm. please just get out of the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this, I feel this was a destiny connector because just things added. This someone who doesn't know me. Yeah. And he's, he, well, after a week, he called me and he said, where are you, Frida? And I said, I am in the house. Mm-hmm. And he said, next time I call you, just be around the mall because mm-hmm. my bosses are here. And I said, give me five minutes. Mm-hmm. I think I, I, I used a millisecond to dress mm-hmm. and take a boda boda mm-hmm. and rush to where he was. And actually when I got there, because it was five in the evening, mm-hmm. The bosses were leaving, mm-hmm. and the minute they were getting out of the door, I was at the door, mm-hmm. and I said, mm-hmm. "Oh, they said, oh, you're Frida," and I said, "Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, we have looked at your papers, and we are going to call you." Mm-hmm. And remember, this is Furniture Palace. Mm-hmm. I have a degree. Mm-hmm. 
don't use jobs. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like that's a big deal, but the people will not do such jobs. Mm -hmm. Remember, it was the one you have to welcome uh, customers and maybe explain the things that... It's, like, it's, it's just a showroom attendant. Mm -hmm. That was the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they said they would call me, and I went home, and I knew they would call me. Mm -hmm. And actually, they did call me. Mm -hmm. So let me cut you short mm -hmm. on this point that you're telling us, you're telling the people that um, people should not choose jobs. Yeah. I feel actually that is uh, one major mistake most people do. Yeah. You know, like you people are graduating mm -hmm. and uh, once maybe someone graduates, you feel now, Mimi, I have trained for this. Yeah. So if I start, maybe I get this job, maybe yeah. I'll be paid low or... Yes. What can you say on that? I, f I feel like everyone in college mm -hmm. feels like they'll be managers. You just know your maybe from your village you're the best. Mm -hmm. uh, the way your parents talk to you, yeah. you're the best. Mm -hmm. Until you come out here and maybe the world doesn't care. Mm -hmm. You just are in the queue of people who don't have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, <laughs> until your turn comes. Yeah. So for me, I, I am not the person to choose. Mm -hmm. I was ready for anything. Mm -hmm. But you see also even that choosing, people choose the first first days. Mm -hmm. And then you realize there are no jobs and you're there hooking my eye. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're okay with it. <laughs> so you can choose if you want to, <laughs> but if you don't get a job, trust me, you'll get your hands dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, I didn't want to feel like, I didn't see the need. I just wanted to get out of there. Because me, I've always known, mm -hmm. getting out, you, 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 you meet people and you meet opportunities. Yeah, and that is another actual mistake people Yeah, so do please don't choose. They, don't choose whatever comes. In the house. And also don't check the money. Because when I was told about this job, mm -hmm. the last thing I asked is how much am I going to get? Because mm -hmm. I think even that thing would have pissed that person off. Yeah. For me, I was ready to work even for free. Yeah, because are you get, do you want the job or the money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, it's also limiting. Mm -hmm. It's also shallow. Yeah. yeah. For the first jobs, I want to ask you to ask. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because mm -hmm. you make so much contact. That is exposure, first of all. Mm -hmm. Have you seen even in these uh, shows mm -hmm. where even these uh, famous people are called for interviews and they're not paid anything, but the exposure you get. So even being positioned at a um, high-end showroom, who are walking in, those are the people you'll be meeting. Or maybe you can talk about it when you know you're being hired. But when you're starting, when they're really, you're discussing, discuss, sorry, mm -hmm. if you're discussing the package, mm -hmm. then you can talk about the money. But when it's just an, a gray area, mm -hmm. desist from talking about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then... Funny enough, mm -hmm. this, this this guy is called me. Mm -hmm. And they called me for an interview on Mombasa Road. And that was the most grueling interview I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. Because I, I think it took like the whole day. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they said after is I'm overqualified. Wow. But they could not <laughs> they could not tell me. Yeah. But I was like, I'm not overqualified. <laughs> Actually, I'm yeah, really, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> so they kept there interviewing me, interviewing me. But I think they kind of knew um, they wouldn't hire me, maybe from... Because, you know, I'm a very confident person in everything. <laughs> so I think I have expressed myself because I was doing everything to get this job. Uh -huh. Yeah, so after the whole day of interview, they said they'd get back to me. Mm -hmm. And then I went home. But one thing in my head, I knew I have a job mm -hmm. with these guys. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, I was just waiting for... They said they would call me on uh, by the Friday and if... Mm -hmm because this was a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, then um, I reach out to them. Mm -hmm. And I was just looking at my phone mm -hmm. and they didn't send me an email. Now, on this point that you're telling us, uh. you've gone home and for you, you believe you have the job. Mm. Should that t t tell us uh, maybe more about your confidence or something Yeah, like yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just a very confident person. Mm -hmm. And this confidence will even come from how you talk in those interviews. Mm -hmm. and you know, the, no, I, I mean, I think sometimes when you're in situations, don't overthink. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes, comes. Because mm -hmm. even being uh, uh, confident could have made me not get the job. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like as long as you're engaging, something mm -hmm. will, give. will give. Yeah, so I went, um, I'm, I'm in the house, and then that person, mm -hmm. Destiny Connectors, mm -hmm. Trust me, there are those people. Mm -hmm. So don't be enemies with everyone, the moody one, and you mm -hmm. don't have a job. Mm -hmm. Please be talking to people. Say hi to a few people. <laughs> you never know. You never know who can hold your hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the house, and then that the, the person, mm -hmm. the pa and let me tell you, do you know the, the Destiny Connectors are those people whose spirit will not come mm -hmm. until they help you. Mm -hmm. When you don't get help, they get disturbed. Yeah. And most of the time, they're not even known to you. Mm -hmm. They're strangers. Mm -hmm. And they're set by God like mm -hmm. that. So this person called me and said, um, did they call you back? Mm -hmm. 
because I'd given feedback to him after the interview. Mm-hmm. And did they call you back? Mm-hmm. And then uh, I said, you, they said they will call me by friend, so I'm just waiting for the mm-hmm. um, um, email. And I said, he said, oh, then as you wait for that, there's a friend of mine mm-hmm. who is looking for sales reps. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no way. Mm-hmm. I was like, what well, if this guy is not sure I'm getting this job? You know me, I'm so certain mm-hmm. that I'm getting. Mm-hmm. And then he's asking me to go for another interview. I'm like, I mm-hmm. couldn't, what? Mm-hmm. I was so disappointed. Mm-hmm. And I told him, no, mm-hmm. I'm not going for another interview. Mm-hmm. That's another lesson we are learning there. Mm-hmm. I'm not going for any other interview. Me, I'm sure I'm getting yeah, this. Sure getting this is what he said to me. Mm-hmm. When you're looking for a job, mm-hmm. don't limit yourself. Okay. So I'm sure there are some of you who have applied for jobs. Mm-hmm. They, are, they have CVs in so many can, uh, companies, mm-hmm. and some of them are, are even the uncles. The uncles that are given CVs, I've told you, just wait. Mm-hmm. Something is giving. Yeah. Please stop waiting. Mm-hmm. Continue looking for jobs, mm-hmm. even if you're sure something will come. Probably it will not. Wow, that's amazing. And that's the mistake I was to make because I said I'm not going for any other interview. I'm sure I did the interview, mm-hmm. and they said they'll call me. Me, I get that job. Mm-hmm. He said, no, when you're looking for a job, you don't close your doors, Mm -hmm. talk to other people. Mm -hmm. That one I learned that day. Mm -hmm. And I was open Mm -hmm. now to going for the other interview. Mm -hmm. But this other interview, Mm -hmm. I um, went so that I don't... I don't make that guy angry, or yeah. maybe for him so to see for I am. You, a, you are sure you're going to get the, the first, first one. one. So I just went for him, mm-hmm. so that he doesn't think I am. You know, someone is not forecast and someone mm-hmm. is. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I was with my friend, mm-hmm. my friend Joy. She's in Australia, mm-hmm. and I told her Joy, this is another job. This is another interview. I'm being called to, mm-hmm. to go to attend to. So just mm-hmm. go. Yeah. And then Joy told me, mm-hmm. but you see. Mm-hmm. The papers read your name, mm-hmm. so there's no way. Remember me and Joy, mm-hmm. if we get from the same campus, mm-hmm. we both don't have jobs. Mm-hmm. And oh, I have a baby, mm-hmm. and Joy didn't have a baby. Sometimes you just have stay with the babies as I go for interviews, mm-hmm. get friends. Mm-hmm. So Joy was like, no. Mm-hmm. So that, this to me, what is yours is yours, because mm-hmm. I really push this job for my friend. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. oh, this has gone to a storytelling. We didn't even count it anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Um, I had to go the next day. Mm-hmm. And now when I went for the next day, and I will mention something. Mm-hmm. When people are looking for a job, they are struggling with money. Mm-hmm. For the next Saturday, actually why I didn't want to go is because I was broke. Mm-hmm. And so Joy just told me, you know what, I'll give you my 500. Okay, so at this point I'm just thinking about the 500 that I owe my friend. Mm-hmm. But I made, I, you know, I really wanted to this guy to know that I really went for this, int- well, for this meeting. Mm-hmm. So I called him and I said, oh yeah, I came for uh, the interview, mm-hmm. but the guy's phone is off. Mm-hmm. And I just said, oh, I want 500 that I have to pay. Mm-hmm. Um, Joy. So then I just said, let me call this guy for him to know I went. Mm-hmm. And at this point, mm-hmm. this guy is becoming a burden to me. You know the way I don't like being attached to people. Mm-hmm. I want him to be gone because now following me, but then again, I didn't understand that point. That's my destiny mm-hmm. connector. So I called him mm-hmm. and I told him because I didn't want him to say I didn't go. Mm-hmm. So I called him and um, I said, you know what, his phone, the guy's phone is off. And he said, oh, no, 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 the, oh, the offices have bad reception. So let me just talk to him myself. So he called mm-hmm. and Kubit was a bad signal. Mm-hmm. And then I, I got called mm-hmm. and they told me it's 20 shillings from where I was. Mm-hmm. And I was like, 20 shillings, I need to get back home. How do I get back home? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those struggling periods. So by the way, everyone has struggled. Mm-hmm. Don't mind even if you don't have the money, mm-hmm. something will give. Yeah. Try, keep trying. Yeah, so then I went mm-hmm. and I found the guy and the receptionist was telling me, oh, Frida, are you Frida? We've been waiting for you. I'm like, we, wow. we have, who? <laughs> but then when I saw the company, I was like, this is not a waitress. Uh-huh. So I want to know what is this about. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I got to the company and guess what? Uh-huh. They really wanted a lady. Uh-huh. So what God has put for you, mm-hmm. it's yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they just they had men in the department and they just yeah. wanted a lady. And when yeah. they saw me, they were like, you know what, perfect yeah. fit. This is what actually they, want. they want. Mm-hmm. So, but then remember, this is Mlolongo, mm-hmm. and remember, mm-hmm. I, I'm thinking about transport. Mm-hmm. Five hundred, see, five hundred is finished yeah. per day. I'm like, hey, when these people will pay me how much? Mm-hmm. And then I'd Google. I knew the other job I would get maybe around twenty k. Mm-hmm. So I told them. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to say no. I wanted to know that I won't work there because mm-hmm. I knew I won't. Mm-hmm. So I just told this guy, mm-hmm. um, you know, um, I've come. Mm-hmm. Oh no, because he said, mm-hmm. let's let's sign the papers. I'm like, sign. Mm-hmm. 
No mm-hmm. interview, no anything. No, there was no interview. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's no interview. The only thing mm-hmm. is I uh, sign your papers. I said no. Mm-hmm. And this guy was like, <laughs> "No, you keep what? for the job." <laughs> and even we were assessed, and you feel like no, don't take it just because you don't have a job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So then, so from that point, mm-hmm. I remember I told them I'm not working there. And it's like. Mm-hmm. No, can you much you're asking? So I, for me, I just decided to, you know what, ask for a bigger pay mm-hmm. to see if they'll afford. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, they offered me more than I'd asked. Mm-hmm. So you set a status for who you are in everything. Mm-hmm. But you remember, I don't want to work there. Mm-hmm. So I still said, I still, because of the distance. Mm-hmm. So I said, no. Because you see, now I'm choosing things that will work for me. Mm-hmm. And then um, he said, why? I mean, I've added you money. Mm-hmm. Then I said, this place is too far. Mm-hmm. And he just said, um, you don't have to come to office every day. Mm-hmm. It's a field job. Mm-hmm. You'll only be reporting on Saturday and I was sold. Mm-hmm. And they gave me the contract. Mm-hmm. I remember the first alert was 42,000. Mm-hmm. For me, that was, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because for me, I just did a starting. And everyone needs mm-hmm. a starting. There yeah. need to be that. There's always a starting Yeah, point. it could be any amount, it could be less, mm-hmm. as long as there's a starting. Mm-hmm. And then, on top of it, then they told the most interesting thing. Um, he told me, and you know, next week you have to go with one of the sales reps mm-hmm. to know the field, how it is and how they work. Mm-hmm. And they said they give transport to everyone who goes, so that, so that I can use. And then he tells me, go to the accountant and get the money for, that you'll use next week. And I was given 5,000. I was like, hey, I've come for an interview and I've been paid. Uh, hey, who am I? Uh, <laughs> So, so happy I think now. that was a very starting point. Yeah, that was a high starting line. Point. Uh-huh. A good starting point, yeah. Uh-huh. But that's the far I can go back. Mm-hmm. And from there, I can say I worked so hard. Mm-hmm. So that's another point. Uh, when you get the job, mm-hmm. work. Give it your best. Give it your best. Mm-hmm. Because, me, I always say, if no one is watching, mm-hmm. God is watching. Mm-hmm. And your future rewards will be based on what yeah. you did when you were given an opportunity. Mm-hmm. Don't work because don't take the pace of the company. Maybe mm-hmm. the, the your fellow employees, are, um, I mean colleagues, are slower. Mm-hmm. Even the, just put your all, mm-hmm. and also what they don't have that you can add there. Mm-hmm. So now you become a mm-hmm. an asset to do the you, company. Uh, do you think uh, that bit of working hand mm. once you get a job? Do you think it limits some people, uh, mm-hmm. like uh, you go in a, career, in, in a company mm-hmm. or you get a job, mm-hmm. then you realize maybe someone gets employed uh, after you mm-hmm. and maybe they, they get promoted even before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, mm-hmm. your hard work mm-hmm. and your input to the company mm-hmm. where you're employed mm-hmm. is what sets everyone apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, The people you see growing in leather, mm-hmm. It's not by, if you, there's no company who wants an unperformer yeah. and give you those roles. Yeah. So probably one day you want to be a manager and you're the one there mm-hmm. doing the least, mm-hmm. the most issues, then complaining the most. Mm-hmm. And when people are, are, are in the wrongs, you are there. Mm-hmm. Imagine you, be, you slow your mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. And remember, I even say, mm-hmm. when you go to a new company, they don't know you. Mm-hmm. So the food you put forward yeah. is what they'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So even if you are not performing very well, or maybe you, you are not liked to the other companies, you can decide, mm-hmm. you know what, mm-hmm. when I get here, mm-hmm. I'll be those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for me, hard work, I don't begin on hard work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for how long now did you work in this company? Yeah, I worked mm-hmm. there for three years, mm-hmm. and that is also very important. Mm-hmm. Exit. Mm-hmm. You don't have to live somewhere forever. Mm-hmm. Because I, in three years, I'd grown, had had gotten the experience that I needed. And remember how Kenyan jobs, you you asked if you've, you've experienced. Yeah. Your first job, mm-hmm. probably, is not supposed to build your house mm-hmm. or even change how your lifestyle is. Mm-hmm. But maybe it's just for your experience. So that now when you go to the next place, mm-hmm. you... You, 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 you know, mm-hmm. you can show what you can give the company and that's what they're going to buy. Yes, so for me, that was just a start of my career. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So after the three years now, uh, did you immediately move to your next job or how was it like? Yeah, I say a good employee mm-hmm. is just like a good visitor. Mm-hmm. You know when to quit. Mm-hmm. It's like a visitor knows when to leave. Mm-hmm. When you stay in a company and then it doesn't serve you anymore, mm-hmm. doesn't mean the um, company is bad or the, the if even the company is not growing you. Mm-hmm. And maybe you know where you want to be mm-hmm. in a few years, mm-hmm. and you feel I've been here for three years. This is a salary. I'm not growing, mm-hmm. and you still feel there's much more you can offer. 
just look for an exit plan mm-hmm. yeah so now you have exited mm. now what next or where next where next did you go Okay, for me, I always feel like there's a master plan in life. Mm-hmm. And this master plan is God. I'm very mm-hmm. spiritual. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like there's a path mm-hmm. that you'll have to go through mm-hmm. and it's set. Mm-hmm. You're just supposed to be available. Mm-hmm. So for me, these three years, mm-hmm. even your in a past, your own person mm-hmm. will be uncomfortable to be there. Mm-hmm. And I remember, and there will be so many signs mm-hmm. to show you that you know it's a time to move, mm-hmm. but sometimes it tends to overstay. Mm-hmm. So I remember even my boss there asking me, mm-hmm. Frida, why, why are you here? Mm-hmm. So he, what he meant mm-hmm. was, I am too. I have so much to offer mm-hmm. in such a small space. Mm-hmm. Whichever come, uh, time you spend in your first job, mm-hmm. now you know what works for you. Mm-hmm. You know what you like. You know work uh, work environment that you you'd condone. Mm-hmm. So and every oh, these things should be based on you. Mm-hmm. What do you like? Because mm-hmm. remember, you're supposed to enjoy your career, mm-hmm. and you can't enjoy your career when. You know you don't like bosses who talk like that. Mm-hmm. So when you go now to the next place, mm-hmm. then make sure these things are things you check. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that really informed um, how I went for the next job. Mm-hmm. And um, I knew I, I want a system that works. Mm-hmm. I knew I wanted a bigger salary. Mm-hmm. And of course, this is first of all, mm-hmm. if the question the questions can come up, mm-hmm. what if you didn't choose to leave that other, the first job? Mm-hmm. It didn't serve you just quit mm-hmm. or you are sacked. Mm-hmm. There I'll say it's okay. Mm-hmm. Being sacked or even quitting is okay. Mm-hmm. But just sit and re strategize. Again, don't go blindly mm-hmm. because if when when you've started, mm-hmm. remember this is the uh, the root of your career. Mm-hmm. You, this is your first building block. Mm-hmm. Then don't go down. Mm-hmm. So for example, if you're in marketing, mm-hmm. I didn't expect myself. I really wanted to build a career in sales. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect myself to go back to class and mm-hmm. teach. Or I, you know, mm-hmm. I, yeah, something different. If you really want to build your career in sales, mm-hmm. this is a building block and it's your first block. Mm-hmm. So then you have to build on that. Mm-hmm. Mm. And don't you feel that uh, being sacked sometimes lowers someone's self-esteem? No, mm-hmm. maybe they, they don't even deserve you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only problem with us, maybe in our country, is because maybe they are not enough jobs. Mm-hmm. But being sacked is okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's an opening to another place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even you quitting, realizing mm-hmm. there's no space for me, mm-hmm. you're not happy. It's okay because then mm-hmm. you're able to sit and re-strategize. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, mm-hmm. even when you're in that other job, if it's not serving you, mm-hmm. I remember I said you get an exit plan. Mm-hmm. If you know you don't want to be here, mm-hmm. maybe this is where your bills are being paid mm-hmm. and everything, mm-hmm. look for similar companies mm-hmm. that you can negotiate when you're there. Mm-hmm. But also, of course, you're not advertising to mm-hmm. everyone that I'm looking for a job. Yeah. But just look for an exit plan. For me, three years, the company was good. It had served me. I just felt like I needed to grow. And for me, I transitioned. Mm-hmm. So I started looking for a similar market. Mm-hmm that now was working for me. Because remember, this company, at some point, I was promoted mm-hmm. to a supervisor. Mm-hmm. And for, now I meant I had to report to mm-hmm. to the physical company. It was hectic for me because I was staying on Mombasa, uh, Thika Road and I'm working on Mombasa Road. Mm-hmm. And I just felt also the monies I need are change. And you know, mm-hmm. sometimes going in the same company can, can be hectic. Mm-hmm. It's easy even moving and asking for a new package. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So when I decided, I identified where I want to go and everything, I just mm-hmm. moved. Mm-hmm. And now this is now another lesson. Mm-hmm. To those who are transitioning mm-hmm. or those who are even looking for their first job mm-hmm. please stop sending cvs stop mm-hmm. stop looking for jobs mm-hmm. and sending cvs and stopping it at that because mm-hmm. i have hired mm-hmm. sometime mm-hmm. way back i was able to hire mm-hmm. and people would come and maybe i would, I would advise on can we hire this one or not mm-hmm. and can you imagine how many people send cvs mm-hmm. your chances are so minimal mm-hmm. For me, I don't believe in sending CVs. Mm-hmm. I've actually, I don't think I've ever sent a CV to anyone, mm-hmm. except the one that I gave that first guy. Mm-hmm. I believe in working, mm-hmm. talking to people, networking, mm-hmm. and working to those companies. Mm-hmm. And when you go to those companies, please make sure you go beyond the gate man. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you go, the watchman will tell you there are no opportunities, mm-hmm. opportunities there. They don't know. Mm-hmm. You go, the secretary will ask you, do you have an appointment? You say no, they throw you out. Mm-hmm. Remember, your aim is to look for the managers and the, yeah. the bosses. Mm-hmm. So just try and get past the gate man. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to, you can maybe tell the gate man you have an appointment. Mm-hmm. 
when you get to the secretary in front, the front gate, just tell them you have an appointment. Mm -hmm. If they ask you with who, of course you know there are CEOs in companies, mm -hmm. you know there are sales managers. Mm -hmm. Just say you are with a position, not a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to see mm -hmm. uh, the sales manager maybe and mm -hmm. tell them I am Frida from such and such a place. Mm -hmm. They will want to see you. But the minute the watchman stopped you at the gate, the secretary, and these people are very, mm -hmm. they can really kill your dream. Mm -hmm. the, the secretary will tell you, you know, if you don't have an appointment, you cannot see the bosses. Mm -hmm. Then what has happened to you? Mm -hmm. So make sure when you walk in those, walk to as many as you want and make sure mm -hmm. you have that strategy. Mm -hmm. Or just lie, it's not lying, it's just being smart mm -hmm. until you get to them, mm -hmm. to those guys. Wow. And even if they say you cannot see them, they are busy. Mm -hmm. Just tell them, me, yeah, for, for example, when I went, I said I have an appointment, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And when they asked me with who, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I can't remember the name, mm -hmm. but he's just one of the, he's the sales manager. Mm -hmm. And he, the person naturally mentioned his name, and I said, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then I said, is that the overall? <laughs> and he said, no, that's not the overall. The overall is, was, oh, it's this con Asian confusing names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that one. And when he came, mm -hmm. I knew when I have the audience with him, he'll give me the job. Uh -huh. He didn't have a choice. Wow. Yeah. And I think that is one thing that people don't know. Yeah, you imagine there are so many things that you could have got. There are so many jobs that you could have gotten, only that you stopped. It's either you stop yourself or you stopped at the gate. So mm -hmm. just make sure you get your way in there. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, when I went in, mm -hmm. There, you, there was a board meeting mm -hmm. which they used to hold every Friday. Mm -hmm. And I was able to get interviewed mm -hmm. by nine owners of the company. Wow. For a day, I didn't have an. And even accessing those people, even for people who work there, it's not mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. But when I came, the confidence I had, mm -hmm. those are your selling points. Mm -hmm. Who you are, what you think you're bringing to the table. And remember when they sat there, I didn't know who is who. So, you know, I decided, you know what? Let's go through this. And I, I just sold myself what I can offer. And also, remember your, your primary job, mm -hmm. you learn so much mm -hmm. that even when you come here, you know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have an option. Mm -hmm. But they also offered me a low package. Mm -hmm. And guess what I said? Mm -hmm. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. This is not the place for me. Wow. Yeah. I and I love the confidence. Yeah. <laughs> and they asked me why. And I said, uh, uh, you cannot revise your salary down once. Uh -huh. Where I am, I am earning better than that. Uh -huh. So yes, this is a good company, uh -huh. but I'm not the person for you. Uh -huh. And when I walked out, uh -huh. I knew they would call me. Uh -huh. And they did. Uh -huh. Yeah. With the package that I'd asked for. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now do you get to begin for the salary? How to begin for salary? Uh -huh. First of all, mm -hmm. it is even before the salary, mm -hmm. what is your investment? Mm -hmm. You can't just go, you literally offering that company nothing, nothing yeah. and ask for money. They will mm -hmm. not give you. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you have to invest. Mm -hmm. Invest your time, mm -hmm. invest your knowledge, your wisdom, mm -hmm. your, just do whatever you can. Mm -hmm. I am one person who is known for working beyond my role. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The role that I have, mm -hmm. I do other things. Mm -hmm. Like for example, where I am, mm -hmm. I, have, I am not even in HR, mm -hmm. but I've done team buildings. Mm -hmm. You offer your, for no pay, mm -hmm. those people see. Mm -hmm. And the more of an asset you add to the company, the more they want you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you're taking... Also, if now you've done all those things, you're the good employee, the performer and everything, yeah. you should realize that you're, I mean, they need you. Mm -hmm. And when you go asking, mm -hmm. biggest me, don't go saying, you know, this is how much I do for you, mm -hmm. I deserve this, what you're paying, no. Mm -hmm. You cannot put emotions, money and emotions don't go in the same mm -hmm. sentence. So you just sit your bosses and tell them, uh, this is when I joined. Mm -hmm. you have your facts right, yeah? mm -hmm. this is what I've been able to do, mm -hmm. and this is where I'm looking to going. Mm -hmm. And I feel mm -hmm. in this area, if you support me in this area, then I'm able to do this. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like it's a fault. Actually, mm -hmm. people lose because they think asking for a salary is supposed to be a fight. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to be a fight. Remove your emotions, discuss mm -hmm. with your boss. So now, can you say you are in a good career? Oh, okay. So remember from the beginning I said mm -hmm. a good career is one, mm -hmm. first of all, that helps you grow in your own mm -hmm. goals, your personal goals, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. One that you're happy in mm -hmm. and one that has opportunity, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm in a good career mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm able to do my other things. Mm -hmm. I'm able to feed my family, I'm able to make my investments mm -hmm. and, and I would say mm -hmm. the path doesn't look bad. Yeah. Also, I like doing, I love, I enjoy doing what I do. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's a very, very big thing in your career growth. Mm -hmm. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're in the wrong career. Mm -hmm. Just look for something that you really enjoy to do. Mm -hmm. So that even when you feel exhausted and everything, you just know mm -hmm. you, that, is, that is where you get your happiness. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much for sharing with us your career journey, actually the, the whole thing. Uh, now, now, because I want us to wrap this whole video, I would want you at least... Uh, 
to tell someone out there who is maybe struggling or facing challenges in their in their maybe their process of identifying their career path, uh, what would be your parting shot to such a person? Okay, so mm -hmm. um, first of all, mm -hmm. maybe if you're younger, mm -hmm. maybe you're starting, mm -hmm. just think of what you'd enjoy, mm -hmm. or what you do on a natural day mm -hmm. that you enjoy. Maybe if you maybe you know it's not um, the white collar. Mm -hmm. Maybe you enjoy baking. Mm -hmm. You enjoy, you know, um, what else? Mm -hmm. These inform that are really paying, mm -hmm. but maybe we were so brainwashed with the white collar mm -hmm. that are paying just to identify an hobby. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. you found yourself in now the white collar, mm -hmm. just you, you can self assess if you're really happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're not, what changes are available mm -hmm. to you uh, to you? Mm -hmm. What do you tell yourself? What else mm -hmm. can you do? Mm -hmm. Because you know this is not working. Yeah. And if, if you're not you feel this is not the place. Mm -hmm. Then um mm -hmm. what do you tell yourself I would be if I was not doing this? Mm -hmm. Or what you're doing is really you enjoy doing it, but doesn't have the money. Mm -hmm. Look for similar companies around mm -hmm. that do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Don't have be so attached to an employee, mm -hmm. an employer. Mm -hmm. Don't be so attached to an employer. Mm -hmm. You can naturally get better employers out mm -hmm. there. You remember, a good career is the one that you know you benefit from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your time and uh, for having you in my show. Uh, thank you, my gang gang my people i hope uh, you've learned something from uh, our story and uh, i believe that uh, if you are out there uh, all you need to do is just to believe in yourself uh, mm -hmm. get your confidence uh, actually know what you, you want in this life and uh, actually things will just come out nazita jipanga too mm -hmm. so thank you so much i hope this uh, video or content will be helpful to you so if you find it helpful please consider subscribing and share with other people so that we can see it as well See you in the next video. Bye bye.